name is Charlie. I'm one of the student doctors at the clinic. So today I've been asked to perform a lower limb examination on you. Um, but just before I get started, I just wanted to make sure I was talking to the right patient. Mm -hmm. So if I could just get your full name. Yep, Ruth Lou. Yeah, and uh, what was your date of birth? Um, 25th of July, 1999. Mm. And your occupation? Student. And were you of Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander origin? Mm. No, okay. Um, so nice to meet you, Ruth. Um, like I said, a lower li limb examination today. So that'll just involve me having a look, having a feel, um, getting you to do a few movements, and I'll also be doing a few of those movements, as well as a few special tests mm -hmm. on your lower limbs, so hip, knees, ankles. Um, in order to do this examination, it will require exposure of the area that I'm looking at, um, but for today, just shorts is fine as well. Um, does that sound all okay with you? Yeah. Yep. Great. And I just wanted to assure you that everything that's done in this consultation will remain strictly confidential between you, me, and the treating medical team. Yep. But without further ado, we'll get started. Yep. So now I'll just move on to inspecting your knees. Um, so as you're standing right now, I'm not noticing any obvious deformities at all. If you could just walk backwards and forwards. Yeah, so the movement of the knees is smooth, um, it's symmetrical. I haven't noticed any deformities such as a varus deformity or a valgus deformity, and there wasn't any baker cysts behind either one of the knees, which is good as well. There's no wasting of the quadricep muscles, um, and it seems like muscle bulk around the knee is also quite normal. There's no discoloration, such as any bruising, no redness or any rashes or any scars or any swellings in the area. So it looks quite normal. I'll move on to um, having a feel of your knees now, if that's okay. Is, is there currently any pain or discomfort in either one? No. Okay. So just having a feel in general. The temperature seems to be the same on both sides. There's no obvious um, swelling or any effusion. Um, was there any pain at all whilst I was touching? No, okay. I now feel for specific landmarks. So first of all, I feel the borders of the patella. Any pain at all? It's insertion into the tibial tuberosity. Tell me if you experience any pain or discomfort. Seems to be good muscle bulk of the quadriceps. Feel along the joint line. Attachment of the hamstrings. Yeah, and then I'll just bend your knee. Okay, back down. Great, and the popliteal pulses in both knees were strong as well, so that's good. So I'll just now assess for the movements of the knee joint. Um, so first of all, if you could just bend this knee by bringing this heel all the way up, yep, and the other leg. Great, and if you could just straighten both of your knees as much as you can. Great. So um, flexion and extension of both knees were within the normal range. There's no limitations of movement. Was there any pain with those? No. Okay, that's great. I'll do those movements now for you. So let me know if you experience any pain or discomfort. Yeah. So once again, flexion and extension, extension passively are also all normal. So now I'll just perform a few special tests on your knees. Um, let me know if there's any pain or discomfort and I'll stop. So first of all, focusing on the patella. So I'll start off by doing bulge signs. So just pushing my hand, checking for any um, bulging on either side of the patella, but there doesn't seem to be any obvious confusion, which is good. Um, once again, so pushing down any potential fluid. Yep, so no patella tap either. And just relax. So I'm gonna push this to the side and bend your knee. Any pain or discomfort at all? No? Okay, now the other one. Any pain or discomfort? No. So that's a negative patella apprehension test. Um, next, I'm going to assess for the uh, collateral ligaments. So first I'll apply varus pressure. That's all valgus pressure. Any pain at all? No? Okay, so that's good. So the collateral ligaments of the knee seem to be normal. Um, I'll move on to the bend this guy now. So if I could just bend your knee. And now the other way. Yep, and I'll assess this one. Now the other way. Yeah, any pain or discomfort with those? I didn't notice any clicking with either the medial or the lateral menisci, so it seems like there aren't any meniscal pathologies. And then now I'll test for your ACL and PCL. So, do you mind if I sit on your foot? <laughs> Great. 
So I'm just going to do the draw test and then Lachlan's test. So there's no laxity of that me. Um, and then I'll just do that on the other side as well. And now for Lachlan's test, I'll just bend your knee slightly. Um, so firstly, I'll just pull this face and then push that face. And I'll also do it on the other side. Any pain at all? No? Great. So that's a negative Lockman's test, once again, for the ACL and PCL. So those were all the examinations I wanted to do today. If there were any abnormalities, I would also order some x-rays or some ultrasounds or some MRIs. Um, but it seems like everything's normal, which is good. Um, I would also assess for your neurovascularity, so sensations and pulses, but we won't be doing that today. So thank you so much for your time. I'll pass on all of my findings onto your doctor.